Hey guys, and welcome to game number 3 out of 100 of my GM vs. AI Redemption series. Unfortunately, the first two games both ended in losses, so we're currently 0-2, but they were both really interesting games, and I played very well in both of them, so I'm encouraged by the start last week, and this week is a new week, so hoping we can get some wins. As a reminder, the prediction contest for this series, and also the Blitz series against Hastybot, which is running concurrently on Fridays, is open and will be opened through this week. So be sure to get those predictions in if you haven't already. The link is copied in the description below. This game is going to be off to an interesting start because Best Bud is first. We haven't seen its move yet. And I've got the Q and the X. Okay, Punto comes down. I'm pretty happy to see that because that gives me a U, which is going to be very useful for offloading this Q. I have to imagine Quoted is going to be the right play there. Or you know what else I could actually do, guys? I could play Toke because that sets up my X. Yeah, this is probably worth it. I mean, the one drawback is that it's somewhat likely to get blocked. Now, that being said, there isn't anything else that scores a super high number of points that goes next to the O. The worst case scenario would be the K. And I think there's a decent enough chance that the bot hooks Toke maybe with Toquette or Bingo somewhere else if that stays open. Like, there's enough upside. Not really giving up much equity. I give up four points. The D isn't really a bad tile to keep anyway with EX. So I think this is worth it. Because if that stays open, it's just an easy 54 points. So let's go for it, and we'll see what happens. Yuck. That is not really what I wanted. I do have a Dew on my rack. But that's not going to play in the spot I just opened. Now, it'll be interesting to see how the bot responds to this setup. Because another factor to consider, guys, is against a human... They might think, huh, why didn't he play quote with the same letters? Because that would score the same and not open that spot, which if I didn't have the X, there would be no good reason for me to want to open. So it definitely does raise alarm bells, and the bot does block, okay. That being said, I'm actually now pretty glad I kept the D, because it does at least offset this plethora of vowels I have pulled. And I don't know what I'm going to do here. I'd love to play a do somewhere. I guess I could play it here? Doesn't seem so good. It keeps a U. I wonder... See, this is sort of another X setup, but it doesn't really work. Because with the I and the U there, I can't... Like, if I put the X here next turn, I'm not going to be able to play, like, Axe or anything, or XI or XU. So it actually doesn't really help me. I could also play it here. Yeah, actually, if I'm going to play a do, I would play it here, because then I can underlap the X with my U. And it's a lot easier to put a tile above an X and below an X otherwise, so this looks better if I'm going to play a do. I mean, I just don't really know what else there is to do. I don't think it's worth it to sacrifice 8 points and hold back the X. I just, I don't know. I mean, I think this is probably pushing it as far as the X setups go. Like, I think I tried once, and... I think the problem here, guys, is there just aren't a ton of great spots on this board. And whether playing next to the eye on the left, hooking Tui, playing next to the eye on the right with a 6 to the triple, I think it's just too likely that this gets blocked. I mean, it just reeks of X setup. Like, it's just too likely to get blocked, in my opinion. So I'm going to just play a do over here. Let's try to see some new tiles on the next turn. Wow. Goes from clunky to maybe even clunkier. Goodness. J U W C G. There is a lot of stuff I want to get rid of here, and not a whole lot of stuff I want to keep. Definitely not going to be bingoing anytime soon, so hopefully Best Bot doesn't either. Yeah, some rather interesting turns to start up this game, and some rather bizarre draws too, I might add, especially this one. I guess we're going to see a game probably where the majority of the Scoring tiles are gone early. We already see the Q and the X gone, and the J probably about to be gone. So that leaves only the Z in terms of power tiles. And yeah, we'll see what the bot does here, but I don't have a whole lot. Maybe I can play Juco somewhere? I guess I could just play Je. It's actually not terrible. It's very restrictive. It really doesn't give the bot anything back. I don't even think I have a 4 on this rack that can get to the triple under the X. 
Like, I don't even know, other than Juku, I might not actually have any forwarder words on this rack. Wow, Tav. Possibly an S setup. I literally can't do anything about it. I mean, well, okay, that's not entirely true, right? I mean, I could do something like this, but come on, like, I'm not going to do that. It's just a couple reasons. I mean, number one, it's just way too detrimental to my rack. Number two, I'm scoring only five points. And number three, if the bot has an S, like, it can't even actually bingo there, right? There's not enough space for bingo. Like, it might get 40 or 50 points, which, it's a lot, but it's not the end of the world. It's not like it's going to get a 120-point double-double. So, it's just not worth it to do something like that. That would be way, way too big a point sacrifice. Like, the thing with Scrabble is, yeah, you do want to try to look at what your opponent's threatening and reduce their options. But at the same time, you know, you have to be kind to yourself also and be kind to your rack. And... Scoring five points and keeping C, G, I, J, O, U is just not being kind to yourself. So I want to be kind to myself, and I'm not going to do that. So I am just going to probably stick to my original plan here. I don't think... I guess I could play Juice. Is that better? That might actually be better, honestly, just to get rid of a couple more of these clunkers. Six fewer points. And it's, the thing is, it's, it's not like this is a good leave either, but at least getting rid of the C and the I helps a little bit. Just gives me more chances to get some good stuff, and there are still two blanks left. So I think I actually prefer Juice. Just because, again, I, I hate I hate keeping bad leaves when there's so many tiles on your rack. Like, if you're going to keep a bad leave, it's generally better to have fewer tiles, because that at least gives you more chances to draw something good to bail yourself out. So I think I'm going to play Juice if I can't come up with anything better, which I'm just not seeing. I mean, what else am I going to do to this X? Je doesn't work. Yeah, there's just nothing. All right, yeah, I think I'm going to play Juice. It's not an exciting play, but I don't see anything else. Okay. Still nothing great here. I was really hoping for an S or a blank. It'll be interesting to see if the bot does play something with Toquettes on its next turn. I have to imagine... It probably will. I'd be surprised if it played Tav without an S. I mean, with four S's unseen and your opponent having just played six tiles, I'd be pretty surprised if it would play Tav without an S, but I guess you never know. I mean, I would assume if it has an S, it's going to cash in. Like, I wouldn't leave it open too long because there's still a lot of S's unseen. So I expect we're going to see like a four or maybe a five with Toquettes. There it is. Okay, flabs for 52. Yeah, and like I said, I kind of knew that was going to happen, but I just really couldn't do anything about it without hurting myself too much. So, okay. And now the question is, what do I have on the left? I guess wolf, if nothing else. I mean, it's definitely better than jowl, because my plan was jowl from the J if the bot didn't give me anything. Or jewel, I guess, but that gets rid of both of my E's and could give back a big S hook. See, I think Wolf is probably okay. EEGL is not great. It's not horrible, though. Definitely better than Golf. The W is at least as bad as the G, and it is six more points. Yeah, probably just Wolf here. Again, I feel like I should be able to do better, but I'm just not really seeing a way to do so. So, all right, let's do it. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Beguiles almost fits, but not quite through the U and Juice. Obligies, if I can get an O to work with, but we will see. Oh, wow. So the bot bingos with re-roller with two blanks. Goodness. All right, so now I'm down 100. That is not good, and both blanks are gone. Why did it not play re-rolled to not get back an S-hook? When it's going up 100. That's weird. Yeah, why wouldn't it just play re-rolled and make the second blank a D? It's just so much safer, right? I wonder if this was, was a situation where there were just, like, so many bingos that the bot was overwhelmed and couldn't properly iterate through everything, whether that's a lot of time. Because, like, I think any human player... Or any skilled human player would agree that re-rolled is just a better play. I mean, it's literally the same positionally, other than it doesn't get back at S-hook in the triple line. And if you're taking a 100-point lead, 
drawing seven random tiles, why would you want to get back an S in the triple line, right? I mean, I don't know, unless I'm missing something, it just seems like a pretty clear mistake by the bot, but anyway, uh, okay, so what do I want to do here? I See, I'm not dying to just play beg, because I'm starting to run out of space a little bit on this board to play bingos, and I'm going to be down 80 or so plus a tempo, so I think... I would actually, at the expense of my leave a little bit, prefer to be aggressive here and play Jebel. Because, again, I'm down a lot. I'm down 70 plus a tempo. Like, I'm getting close to falling out of one bingo range. I need to keep this board open. There's two S's left. If the bot has an S, then I'm in trouble, obviously. But I'm in trouble either way if the bot has another S. So, I think this is reasonable. Now I've got two big lines with Jebels and Rerollers, and I, I think... You know, I talked about it a little bit, guys, at the end of the last series and in my recap video. One thing I feel like I've learned from the first series is I need to be a little bit more aggressive and a little bit less cautious sometimes because there were just too many situations where I was too cautious and then either I squandered a lead or I wasn't aggressive enough when I was not in a great position and the bot just locked down the board and, and I lost. So I think I need to take these kind of chances a little bit more, and especially being down 100. I think now is a great time to do that. Do that. So, all right, let's play Jebel and... Don't think I have any bingos here. So I'll probably, though, just cash in with Wish and Jebels, because that's a lot of points. That'll be about 55. Unai, yeah, I mean, I think I have to, because I'm down 95. And the thing is, would I rather keep my S? Obviously, but if I keep sacrificing too many points, then I'm just going to get into a position where even if I bingo, it's not going to be enough to win. And the problem, again, if I play something like How, is now the Rerollers hook is gone. Jebels is not there for bingos anymore. So yeah, I need to just play Wish here. It's 57 points. I mean, that gets me to within, like, 40. That's easily within striking distance. Yeah, I have to do this. So, all right. Uh, second R really doesn't help. It's close to a bingo, but just not quite there, unfortunately. Yeah, I don't think I have anything through an A or an I. Those are really my most viable places to go. And Botch comes down quickly. So mostly obstructing the re-rollers hook. Throng? I mean, Throng has to be, right? Thronger, unfortunately, not good. There's no S for Stronger. I would maybe try Thronger against some weaker opponents in a tournament, but it's, I don't know, that doesn't sound very plausible at all. And obviously, I'm not going to try that against Best Bot. I mean, I think this has to be right. It scores well, keeps ER. Still have lines. I mean, I've got the R next to Reroller is actually a good line for 7th ending and E. I've got the A and the I on the right. Yeah, this game is not over yet. I mean, I definitely, I definitely need a good draw. Uh, did I get something here? I don't think so. Second R again is... Just not helpful at all. I'm only down 40, though, guys, so I'm easily within striking distance. If I can just get... Oof, that's a lot. 45. Hmm. So I'm down 85 now. Okay. Do I have anything ending in, like, U R Y here? I'd love to play there and score points. We do NY... I don't actually see it, unfortunately. Hmm. Yeah, and this is why it's so important to keep scoring points, guys. Because if you don't, then you're just going to end up being down too much, such that Bingo doesn't even win. I really have to get rid of this Y. It's making it very difficult for me to Bingo. I just don't see anything under Juice. Feels like it shouldn't be that hard to go there. I mean, like, MY even? I'm just not finding it. Like, I can't afford, I don't think, to play something like Fry. It's only 13 points. And the problem is I'm just starting to commit to needing two bingos to win if I play that. Which I'd really rather not do. I just don't think I have anything through this U that gets rid of my Y. Can't play. Almost have like Frenemy or something. That would be pretty cool. Not quite. 
yeah, I don't even know what to do here, guys. This is actually deceptively awkward. I guess I could just do this. I mean, I, I really hate to give up my E. That's the problem. There are five of them left, at least. But I just hate to get rid of it. It's such a good bingo tile. Like I said, I do need to score points. That might be my best way to score points. It's either that or... I mean, I'm not going to play Muni and keep RRY. That's horrible. Mirror is also horrible. Like, your eye is just naturally drawn to this U and this B because of Bi, but there's just nothing, unfortunately. Yeah, it doesn't work either. EE -E is only good in Collins. So, yeah, I don't know, guys. I hope I'm not missing something better. I really want to leave the line next to Reroller open, too, for bingos. I guess I could also play... Maybe I'm better off playing Rhymey? Is that... That's a lot more likely to bingo. It's a bit of a point sacrifice over Y-E-R, but I-M-N-R is really just not a great leave. Rhymey or Myrie? Probably Myrie, so I don't give back a potential grimy play. Yeah, maybe this is better. This is probably fine. I mean, if I can bingo next turn, I'll probably still be down a little bit, but maybe I could still win in the end game. Yeah, alright, I think I'm going to play Myrie, and I, I really just need to bingo immediately. Okay, well I should. At least assuming column C stays open. I have Romaine and Moraine. Just really got to hope that stays open, because I don't think these words play anywhere else. Or an A. Okay, good. Well, the problem, though, again, is I'm going to still be down. Because he's up 100. I guess I'll play Moraine and Mag now. Or will I? So, the thing is... This actually makes it significantly harder for me to bingo on my next turn. Because now, really, the only line I'm leaving myself is the R and re-roller. I've blocked off all of the 8s on the right. And all of my 7s, pretty much, above Ag. So, if the bot just overlaps above Moraine, I mean, I'm, well, within, what, 20? If the bot overlaps there for, like, 20 or 30, yeah, it's just going to be hard for me to come back, I think, without bingoing. And there's a decent... I mean, don't get me wrong, though. The pool is pretty good. I could definitely draw a 7 ending in E. And the nice thing is I'm getting the score close enough. If the bot does try to sacrifice too much to block on the left, I could maybe outrun it with a play on the right. So that's an option. The other option is to bingo here, which I know seems crazy. Maybe even with Romaine, if I wanted to go extra crazy. Which is... I mean, again, it looks crazy because it's 6 points less... And it throws a tile into the triple-triple line. But the advantage is it ensures I'm going to have a bingo line on my next turn. Because if the bot plays through the tile I put in the triple-triple line, then I can play above Yin and vice versa. So it's interesting. Because I'm still, again, even though I'm bingoing, I'm still going to be trailing by roughly 25 points or so and a tempo, which is... a sizable amount without scoring tiles left. Like, I think, really the question I need to ask myself is, am I going to need to bingo again? And, I mean, the answer is not a definite yes. The bot, like, there is a bunch of good stuff in the pool. There's also some bad stuff, though. Like, there are four I's, three D's could get clunky, a V. So, it's a tough one. It's a very tough play. I mean, if I were down more, like, if I were down 130, then I would 100% play the aggressive spot. But... Being that I'm not down that much, I'm a little more inclined to probably just play here. It's interesting. The two plays are so different. So 79, see, I'm down 21 points. Again, what I'm worried about, guys, is the bot just plays, especially if it has the K, then it could just play, like, King for 40. And if I don't draw a bingo immediately next to Reroller, I just lose. Now, obviously, the bot is far from guaranteed to have King. And it might not have a great overlap there, honestly, depending on what it has. I mean, yeah, if it, like, actually, if it doesn't have the K, I mean, you could play Gad or something. And then I'd be down 40. Which is realistically, if it has anything there, or maybe a play through the E, even. Like, Given or whatever. 
am I making back a 40-point deficit or 50-point deficit potentially without bingoing? I just don't think so. So I don't know. I, I kind of am, the more I think about it, the more I think I should keep this open. Like, I just feel like I'm going to need to bingo again, guys. I don't know. I, I'm such a big underdog against Bespo, which also is a perfect endgame and pretty much perfect pre-endgame player. I'm still going to be down 20-some points in a tempo. So I'll be down probably 40 or 50 on my next turn. Yeah, I just don't see how I'm coming back without bingoing. There's nowhere to score large amounts of points on this board. And there still won't be. So you know what? Yeah, we're going aggressive. And now the only question is Romaine or Moraine? I think Moraine, because Romaine, I think that just gives back too many, like, easy scoring plays. I mean, I don't want the bot to just play dark. Because then also, I could even potentially not win with another bingo. Right? Like, if the bot plays dark for 42, yeah, that's another thing. Like, the bot could score a lot there and maybe even outrun a second bingo. But it might not have any great plays through the M. It's more likely it wouldn't have anything through the M. So I think I'm inclined to do that, and then hopefully I can maybe draw a bingo on the bottom. Let's do it. Hmm. Yeah, it's not a great... Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Fine. If you have to do that, then... <laughs> what am I going to say? Well, the good news here, at least, guys, is if I had played below, the bot still would have played Destin next to Reroller, and I certainly would have lost. So, yeah. This uh, <laughs> this was just not my game to win. But, like, I mean, that that's just a little ridiculous. Now, the, another crazy thing is if I had played Romaine, the bot still triple-triples, because Nerdiest would have played for 149. Wow. Okay. So, um, needless to say, we're losing. And now it's just a matter of trying to go out in two here. So the bot has a decent rack. I have two minutes. I'll try to play a decent endgame here if I can. Sky of somewhere? I don't know where that's going to go. Ivies. Maybe just Ivy's over here. KE should go out. Yeah, I'll go out with Keat or K. It's not terrible. Can't believe the bot freaking triple triple there. That's crazy. It's absolutely crazy. But it happens. Anything with Ken? Not really. There's also throngs. Veins? Is that any better? I have some trouble going out with I E K though and I also probably score less. Yeah, I think Ivy's is probably... Oh, I can also play Ivy's here. Yeah, it probably gives back a little bit less to the bot. It gives back Giardia. Yeah, so probably this, and then it would probably play Giardia through the I. If I play Ivy's here, I might actually give back less. Yeah, because Gotti doesn't play... You'd have to play, like, Dag, which gets rid of a lot fewer tiles. Yeah, this is actually probably a little bit better, just because it doesn't give back quite as much to the bot. So, all right, let's... Let's play over here. I think that's fine. And, oh, Bot just plays Aura anyway. Okay. So maybe I should have just played Ivy's in the other spot. I didn't see Aura up there. It's a nice fit. Um, all right. So then I guess Key is 14. K is also 14. Probably not going to be getting more than that as far as I can tell. Yeah, I don't think I can get more than 14. So... All right, yeah, probably threw away one or two spread points in the end game there, but yeah, tough game. Five twenty-two, three fifty-five, and we fall to zero and three. I mean, the game—I will say—the game felt a lot closer than this. It was kind of a, a fluke that the bot got that triple triple. So let's let's take a look. Yeah, I don't necessarily regret my play in the end there, but let's see earlier on if I maybe missed anything. So Punto, yeah, no, I I saw quoted first. I decided to be a little fancier and set up the X. I still think it's fine. Because, again, I'm not really going out of my way that much to do it. I get four more points for Quoted. The D is not at all bad, as we saw my next turn with this leave. So I'm not sacrificing that much equity. And yeah, it often gets blocked, but it's not like when it gets blocked, it's going to be blocked with a 60-point play. And when it doesn't get blocked, then I'm really, really happy. So I think this is fine. And then, yeah, the bot does sniff it out. I mean, granted, all of its best plays pretty much are there anyway. I guess, yeah, off here, but it's definitely better to block, so... All right. Yeah, there's not a whole lot else to do here. I definitely think my placement is better. Like I said, I hold the U for XU next turn. Whereas if I play it down here, then I don't have anything that goes above the X. Dotty, yeah, it doesn't really do much. It doesn't set up the X at all. So yeah, I think it's this is probably fine. 
But if I had both blanks here already, goodness. Tav. Oh, so it didn't have an S. Huh. So I guess it was figuring it would maybe burn a blank as an S and then save the other blank. Wow. I mean, that actually kind of makes sense. Like, if you have two blanks, burning one for 50 is very reasonable. Uh, this is leave, guys. So bad. Yeah, I saw this too, but... Nah, I I think with the game moving along, I really need to turn over more tiles. I don't want to be keeping five clunkers. That's just... Again, when you're keeping a bad leave, you're almost always best to try to keep a bad leave with like two or three tiles instead of a bad leave with five tiles. Because that just gives you more room, like I said, to get lucky and draw a blank or just draw some other stuff that helps you bail out. So it's kind of like if you're going to keep the queue, I always talk about how... You're better off just blowing through as many other tiles as you can because that gives you more of a chance to get a U or an I for QI or, or something to value yourself out. It's the same idea when you have other clunkers. So yeah, I'm, I'm okay with juice. I don't regret that. And wow, so the bot didn't have a playable bingo here, but even if it did, honestly, actually maybe it did? No, I don't think so. But even if it did, then it might have had something hooking DO actually, but even if it did, then this is way better because it's 52 points and it keeps it double blank. What's really nice about this too is an F in the triple line is not a guarantee to get used. If it doesn't get used, like, yeah, it's not easy to triple triple through an F, but when you have two blanks, that definitely makes it not so unlikely. So that's a super powerful play. I mean, I'm definitely glad I blocked. I didn't see below. I still think Wolf is fine though. I mean, I'm not down much. I'm down 20 after this play. I don't mind being a little bit cautious. It's a couple more points. EEGL is not materially worse than EGL. So yeah, I'm, I'm okay with Wolf here. And it certainly worked out because I have to imagine the bot would have had something through that F. But yeah, I still fail to understand why the bot played re-roller instead of re-rolled. Because to me, again, you're going up 100 points. Why open an S hook like that when you don't have to? I mean... I, I think this is just an issue of the bot not iterating fully with the two blanks and having too many options, but at the same time, there aren't that many viable options to consider. Like, I think Rerolled is pretty clearly better than Explorer. It blocks the left a little more effectively, and this opens up an annoying S-hook. So I don't know. I'm a little confused here, guys, but if you have any ideas why you think the bot played this or if it's just a mistake, then let me know your thoughts. Yeah, and I saw Beg. It's definitely the best equity play. I recognize that. But again, I feel like I need to take a risk here. I'm down 100 points. If I do this, I just feel like it allows the bot to play too easily somewhere on the top right corner of the board over here and start blocking that. And then soon enough, it'll probably be able to block the C column as well next to the R and Roller. And I'm going to quickly start running out of space. So I feel like it's good to be proactive here, even though I do keep the G, which is obviously not a great tile. But yeah, I think this is fine. Nice and aggressive. Sets up another S hook. Makes it tough for the bot to deal with everything. And yeah, Unai looks like a good play here. Scores well, dumps some vowels at least. Mostly obstructs Jebels and prevents me from bingoing there. And yeah, I think I have no choice here but to play Wish. I guess I could consider a Gosh because that leaves the G as a viable bingo line for an ING bingo potentially. It's not crazy. That being said, I think Wish is still better. I mean, getting rid of the W is really nice. And it is six more points, which... I do really want to take, especially given I'm down so much already. So probably would have been good to at least consider this. Sometimes it is good to sacrifice points to leave open a tile that's actually realistic to bingo to. I mean, realistically, I'm not going to bingo to a W. I guess I could draw a Scow or something, but like, come on, the odds of that are ridiculously small. So yeah, gosh, not a crazy idea, but I think I'm still okay with Witch, or Wish, rather. And yeah, why botch instead of batch? That's interesting. It's three A's and two O's. Why Why keep the duplicate A's? Huh. Yeah, I wonder why the bot did that. Oh, I think I know why. Because with four N's left, it has a decent chance of drawing Hazan, H-A-Z-A-N, for 51 on its next turn. At least that's the best explanation I can come up with. Because otherwise, it just... Unless there's something specific the bot is thinking it might hit... It doesn't make any sense to keep the duplicate A's, especially with more A's than O's on C. So it must be thinking there's enough N's that it can draw his on. That's interesting. Okay. Probably wouldn't have thought of that myself, but it actually makes a lot of sense. And yeah, Throng has to be right. I mean, there's just 
this just keeps too many consonants. So yeah, it looks good. And I did indeed block Hazan as well as Hazed. But yeah, Glazed for 45, still a lot of points for the bot. Ooh! That's cool. I did not think of that. Yeah, that might be better. Although, honestly, I'm not sure because it's only one more point. It's not really a big score difference. And I'm not sure the M is good here because if I'm going to get a 7, I need to end in a vowel. So having the extra constant there might not really help me. And the M is not great for bingo starting with an A or an I, I feel like. I don't know, I just think having that extra constant is not a great thing if I'm trying to bingo. I, th I think Rhymey is, or Myri rather, is still reasonable. Bot plays Yeen. Interesting that I played Yeen opening another bingo line down there. I guess it's just figuring it's up so much that it's going to outrun. And there just aren't a lot of other good plays. Yeah, I mean, this just gives up a lot of points. So yeah, interesting decision from the bot. Because Yen definitely makes it a lot harder for me to bingo. And the nice thing is, too, if it tries to force me to bingo down the C column, then that would give back a lot of counterplay. So, yeah, I guess the bot, like I said, just kind of going full out running mode here. And yeah, this was a weird decision for sure. I mean, obviously the standard play, like I said, is to do this, right? It's six more points, first and foremost, and it doesn't give back a ton of counterplay on the top. But again, I just felt like if I did this, I wasn't winning this game without another bingo, barring a horrific draw from the bot, because I'm still down 21. If the bot plays anything above the INE or like through this E, it's going to be up 40 to 50 points. I'm going to have a hard time scoring more than like 25, maybe 30 on this board. I'm still going to be down a tempo in points. I just didn't see myself winning without a bingo after this. And the only place I can bingo after this pretty much is down the C column next to the R and re roller, which is certainly possible, but it's a lot less likely than if I bingo here then I just need a 7 above the AG and the N, or maybe even an 8 on the right from the floaters and Unai. It's a lot more realistic than I'm in a bingo there. So I think it's fine. Now, obviously, the counterpoint is that if I give back enough points, I could let the bot score with making or something maybe, or something for like 30, that I might not even win with another bingo. So it gets a little dicey here, guys. It's hard to say for sure. What's, what's better? I think both plays have their merit. I think... I'm okay with my decision here because I'm recognizing that I'm still at a disadvantage and trying to be aggressive. Now, that being said, it backfired sp spectacularly, but as I mentioned during the game, even if I had bingoed on the bottom, the bot still would have bingoed with Destin next to the r and roller and won this game easily. So whatever I did, I was lost. Uh, and then, yeah, here, it's just a formality at this point. I didn't seek Foss, but that can't be right, keeping E-E-I-I. -I. Yeah, Ivy's here is probably one point better, but not a huge deal either way. Uh, oh, I missed Eek for one more somewhere. Oh, yeah. Okay, so blew a couple of spread points in the end game, but not a huge deal. Yeah, no, honestly, I mean, I'm pretty happy with how I played this game. I don't I don't think there were any clear mistakes. The Moraine turn was probably my most interesting turn of the game there. Like I said, I don't feel confident I got it right. Curious what you guys think. Should I have played Moraine for more points on the bottom? Do you like my aggression, even though it, uh, like I said, backfired in the most spectacular fashion possible? I don't know, but... Yeah, no, I feel like I, I, I did get outdrawn a little bit this game. My timing was not great. Just uh, couldn't bingo until it was way too late. So, oh well. Uh, kind of a start reminiscent of the first series, unfortunately, guys. We're 0-3. I believe I started 0-4 in the first series. So, really hoping that Wednesday's game goes better and I do not start the first four games without a win. That was definitely a tough one to come back from before. And I'm really hoping that it doesn't happen again. So, fingers crossed. Hope to see you guys all there for game number four this Wednesday. Thank you all so much for watching and your support. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you all soon. Have a good one, guys. Bye-bye.